Hi, fourth grade. I am Mrs. Hockenbrock and I'm going to be your fourth grade teacher this year. I cannot wait. I'm excited for a great fun school year and I can't wait to see all of your faces on Tuesday, whether it's in class or whether it's from Soko Live live streaming. I um, will go over just a couple things today because this is really short and just kind of saying hi. We'll go over a lot more things on Tuesday in school. You'll get more information about the content and the subjects on Tuesday. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of background. So you had some information as you come to fourth grade this year. All right, I am Mrs. Hockenbrock and this is my 15th year teaching. So I've been teaching fourth grade for a long time. I have two boys, Aiden and Noah. Noah is actually in fourth grade with us. So a lot of you know me and, or you've seen me throughout the year, a couple of years. Um, I, I'm going to share you a, a PowerPoint with you, show you a couple things, and then we'll go over everything else on Tuesday. Alright, so on next week, when you come in, we'll be doing a, um, a lot of fun things, like getting back in the swing of things, getting back into school. So you, this is Meet the Teacher and it's virtual. All right, so it's different than what you guys did the last couple of years. We had Moving on Update. We'll go over a lot more meeting Mrs. Hockenbrock and me meeting you guys on Tuesday. Uh, a couple things that are going to be different. When you arrive at school, when you come here, you'll come right down to your classroom. All right, you'll come down to room 20. You passed it over the last couple of years when you were going back to third grade. So you passed my um, classroom probably twice a day last year. Our classroom is still under construction, so I can't wait until you guys see it. I'm working super hard to make it safe, colorful, friendly, and just a fun place for you to come every day. A couple things to remember coming to school. Uh, wear your mask. All right, make sure you have your mask. If you're going on the bus, you'll need your mask. If you're um, anywhere in school, you'll need your mask, so make sure you have your mask. The school has a couple extra, or they're providing some um, if you would lose it, but make sure you're wearing your mask and try not to touch your face. Um, keep your distance. All right, walking in the hall, try and keep your distance and make sure you're washing your hands. Um, it's all things that will keep us healthy and safe. Our class schedule. So our usually from 8.15 to 8.30 is our morning meeting time. Getting used to things from 8.30 to 10.30 is our AM ELA. Now ELA is a little bit different this year. We have a new reading series. So you'll have a brand new book that you can write in compared to last year with the Storytown books. You couldn't write in them. So everything's in one book for the most part for you with ELA. We'll go over some other things on Tuesday about ELA as well. You'll still have Unified Arts. The Unified Arts teachers stayed the same from 10.30 to 11.10 is Unified Arts. They may just be a little bit different or at different places this year. From 11.10 to 12.15 will be your lunch, recess, and transition time. The transition time would be maybe wiping off desks, um, transitioning back from recess, maybe a read aloud. And from 12.15 to 2.15 is our math and social sciences. So if you're logging in from home, you have a little bit of a schedule to see um, when we're doing different things. Now, the first couple days are probably going to be different. Math is the same. It's everyday math. You'll get logins that you can have to log in at home or in the classroom. And social sciences, everything will be in a folder for you guys. So not much different than third grade, to be honest. We'll get down to some more specifics and you'll get more information with it next Tuesday. But that just gives you a little bit of information on the subjects in our class schedule. Supplies. Besides the supplies listed on the school website, a couple things I would really like you to think about bringing is one, maybe bring a beach towel. I, if we go outside to sit, um, you can bring a beach towel. We'll keep it in our seat sacks and we'll send them home to get washed as well, but it will just be your beach towel. You would be the only one sitting on it. Uh, possibly your own pencil sharpener. And it's really important to bring, try and bring a water bottle. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be clunky because you know they make a lot of noise, but you'll be filling your water bottles, um, like a plastic one, you'll be filling them, not like a, um, any kind would work, but you'll be filling them at the water fountain, the refillable. You won't be able to just get regular drinks. If you forget it, it's not a big deal. We'll get you a plastic cup and you'll have it and you can bring it in the next day. Look for more information. Keep checking your, your um, kids. Keep checking your email. Um, you'll be getting more information coming from Microsoft Teams. Check Sapphire. Keep checking those things in the next couple days for any more information coming. I, I'm super excited to see all of you. I'm excited for uh, whatever this school year brings. I'm excited to 
see you all again. I remember seeing you last year walk through the hall and I'm excited for the challenges that may come, but we're going to do it and we're going to do it great and we're going to have an awesome year. So if you have any questions, you can always email me or ask on Tuesday. But um, uh, one other thing is we do have one snack in fourth grade. I did forget that. So um, bring a snack so you have that on the first day of school. But I think that's it. So try and remember, snack a water bottle. Um, your school supplies will go through and we'll handle the rest on Tuesday. We'll go over everything. You'll get your books. You'll get an agenda in fourth grade. And you guys are now the big guys on campus. You are the oldest people in the elementary school. So let's make it an awesome year. All right, so I can't wait to see you all. Enjoy your last couple days of summer.